is the prize at the end of the night for one of these men, Shmilino Rama and Derek Maiman, battling for the inaugural heavyweight title belt here, the World Series of Fighting. Megan and Michelle on hand, happy to have them with us here in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. Thanksgiving weekend as our Canadian neighbors to the north celebrate Canada's Thanksgiving on Monday the 13th. But I am told, Boss Rudin, that they still have the standard turkey affair with the, with the food. <laughs> That's a turkey. That's the sound of a turkey. I did it one time. I tried to check one. And there is Rama from just down the road in Calgary, 8-1. Coming to us by way of Independence MMA Gym, and he is the number one Canadian heavyweight, has seven first round finishes, including the defeat of Steve Mako, a U.S. Olympic wrestler, and of course, Tim Haig, who he was able to KO. He was pretty excited to see you prior to yeah, the start of tonight's and fight. And like I said, he gave me this double underhook. He says, oh, Big man, let me hold this. I said, wow, the double underhook is not so good for me, but he feels really in shape. He came up and said, here comes the boom, didn't he? Here comes the boom. <laughs> he says, man, you you know, it's, uh, I started because of you. I mean, that's mean, I know that means I'm old, but it's always a good thing for you. Good ground on hand here at the Edmonton Expo Center. Big weekend here in Edmonton as the Oilers celebrate their 30-year Stanley Cup reunion. Wayne Gretzky in attendance here in Edmonton. Not necessarily this fight, but I'm sure if had a way to get a ticket, he probably could get one. I, I think so. As we take a look at the tail of the tape for this heavyweight title bout. Shmilino Rama, 22 years of age, 6'1", weighed in at 235, 76-inch reach. His opponent across the way, the American 29-year-old Derek Maiman at 6'4", 243, and his reach is 78 inches. We now go inside the cage. Chad Securo has the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go with your co-main event of the night. We are preparing to make history in Edmonton, Alberta, in Canada, with the inaugural World Series of Fighting Heavyweight Championship of the World. It is brought to you by the Green Beret Foundation. We are scheduled for five rounds. And now, introducing, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, 18 wins, five defeats. Standing six feet four inches tall, weighing 243 pounds, he fights out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, introducing Derek Caveman Maiman. Maiman is a great striker with great wrestling, so either keep the fight on the feet or go for takedowns. One's on the ground, top control, ground and pound. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent on my right, fighting out of the red corner. His record, eight victories, one defeat, standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing 235 and one half pounds, fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, presenting Smelligno, the Prince Rama! Rama is good everywhere, but why fight where the opponent is best? So, try to set up takedowns with strikes, which is gonna be hard because Maimon's a great wrestler. Once on the ground, top control, ground and pound, into submissions. Your referee is John Brack. All right, gentlemen, you both know the rules. I expect you to fight clean, fight fair, and fight hard. You obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck. No touching gloves here. I'll tell you what, Derek Maiman couldn't wait to get to the center of the cage as the lovely Megan Stack gets us started here in Edmonton. This is for the heavyweight bout at the World right, Series of Fighting. The you belt ready? is on fight. the line. All right. Oh, nice inside low kick there. That happens when one of them is a shot. Throw. That was going to say, if Rama was able to get a takedown that fast on Maiman, that would have been impressive. You know, and uh, he might surprise him. That's why sometimes it works. You see a really great wrestler, and suddenly he's get taken down. So this one's scheduled for five rounds. Two big guys as conditioning. If it goes that far, boss, that is certainly going to be a huge factor. Oh! Rama comes out and rocks Maiman early. Wow. Derek Maiman's in big trouble. He shouldn't go for it. Wow, I'm surprised Rama went for the submission choke, but now he's going to rain down some heavy leather, and Rama has got, Rama has got Maven in trouble again. That is it. That's it is all over. Whoa! Look at the people in this house. It's crazy. Whoa! 
It was the world punch. Boom. Days in. And then it started. Maybe it was even because he went for a takedown. Got in his head. Hey, he might try that again. Little movement down. Boom. Come with a big punch. I mean, you see these little tiny things that you can do to just get inside the head of the opponent. This I did not expect because Maiman is good. Maiman is very good, and Rama comes over to check on his opponent. Maiman taking a big shot to the forehead. And Boss, I tell you, I'm with you. Did not see this one coming. Two big men that can move that fast. And the speed of Rama, Maiman's a great athlete, but he had no answer for Rama as he was coming forward. It was the craziest thing. The first kick already. Well, we can probably watch the whole fight again now. Wow, man. Look, Look at this. <laughs> that is a first. The fighter wins the title belt, comes out. Everyone wants to meet Boss Root, and he comes out to say, I want to visit with you afterwards. That was a very classy thing. Painter very respects classy. to Boss Root. And now Ray Seppo, the president of the World Series of Fighting, with a belt in his hand, he'll first go over and check on the condition of Derek Maiman. Well, this one was scheduled for five. We didn't even need one. Let's look at this thing from the start once again. The Canadian, the Prince, Shmelino Rama. Goes with a left, a right, inside kicks. And here it was. Thought about the takedown on Maiman. Got a feel of just how heavy Maiman is. It over 243 pounds. Back to the stand-up fight again. And then the flurry. Looks so very relaxed at this point in the fight. They come forward, but it was a big exchange there and the left that set it up, and that really rocked Maiman. And then the combination. At this point, Derek Maiman's thinking I'm in big trouble. Rama goes for the rear naked choke, stands Maiman back up. Maiman's in complete defensive stance right now. And at this point, it is almost over. John Brack has seen enough. We'll be back with the official word and the presentation of the belt. Boss Root will talk to the new champion in the World Series of Fighting. We'll have all that when we return to Edmonton's Expo Center. You're watching World Series of Fighting 14 only on NBCSN. For all the latest news and information on the World Series of Fighting, be sure to head to the all-new WSOF.com today. Follow your favorite mixed martial arts fighters and get exclusive pre- and post-fight coverage on your desktop, phone, or tablet. Be sure to visit the all-new WSOF.com now. Back inside the Edmonton Expo Center at the conclusion of a very exciting fight with a belt on the line. Now for the official decision, we go inside the cage. Jazz Sekiro has the word. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Brack has seen enough to stop the fight at 51 seconds of round number one. Officially a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner and new World Series of Fighting Heavyweight Champion of the World, All right, well, um, I guess everybody here in the house knows you. <laughs> yes, sir. It's the home thing. I mean, everybody went crazy. It was like uh, you were in Brazil, fighting in Brazil, and a Brazilian guy. Unbelievable. Listen, the speed. You have so much speed. Derek Maiman is a really tough fighter. I saw this guy going straight to the top, and suddenly you started connecting. Do you think that the takedown attempt maybe got inside his head? Listen. I'm sorry I'm not going to answer, answer your question right now, boss. I love you, but I want to say God is the greatest. I want to thank my girlfriend, my mother, my father, my little sister, my coaches, all my staff right over there. Uh, Chris, Anderson, Vlad, Petro, Alex, Craig, fucking, um, excuse my language, 
Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I want to thank my sponsors, Never Tap. Uh, I want to thank YAG, that's where the after party's at, Royal Empire Jewelry, and I want to thank um, Optimum One, the center for taking care of me, uh, Dr. Ron right over there. Um, you know, I think that Takedown got in his head because he's a wrestler, but a lot of people don't know is that I wrestled here in Canada, I went undefeated, I won cities, provincials, nationals, undefeated. And um, a lot of people don't take that into perspective because I have such a good uh, coaching staff and I get to work on my striking lots. I have a great jiu-jitsu coach and um, I just improve in all areas. So he, he might have been surprised, but I know I have all those tools to back up my game. How, how soon do you want to defend your belt and against who? I don't mind who. I'll, I'll come in here and take anybody. I, was not, I wasn't a favorite to win this fight, but listen, look at these guys right over here. These are the guys who make me who I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of tonight, a new World Series of Fighting heavyweight champion, Shmirlino Lama. And still enough time for a selfie with the great boss, Rutan. So Shmirlino Rama gets the win. This one's scheduled for five. He only needs about 50 seconds. And now the belt is his.